Expedia Hotels. And essentially is just a new hotel booking application that's supposed to be a much easier to use interface than in the past. Mm -hmm. So you can enter in your search location, any location you want, it'll geocode that to wherever the latitude and longitude is. Uh -huh. But here's what's really cool, I think, is the calendar. Um, all the default built-in Android calendar is just a bunch of numbers that you click up and down. And here right. it gives you real context. You know, if I'm staying on the 13th and 14th, that's then a weekend stay, and you can click and drag the days, so you get a very visual showing of what stay you're going to do. So now we have it uh, tracking down where the user's current location is. And Wi-Fi. And starting to search. So here's. Um, we have a lot of information. We have the sale. We have the star rating for the hot hotel. We also have a series of filters in this pull-down, though. So I think this is really cool because it's just, it's hidden most of the time, mm -hmm. but any time it gives you this very visual interface of all the things you can change to. Suppose I want to only see, um, we have integration with TripAdvisor, I only want to see highly rated hotels with TripAdvisor. Now these are all hotels that got four and a half stars on TripAdvisor. And um, suppose, so we're, we're uh, going by location right now, I just want to see all the hotels that are close to me. And so now these are all the hotels that are two, within two miles of me right now. Mm -hmm. um, and you click on a hotel, you get all sorts of information about how much it costs. You can flip through photos of the hotel and get all sorts of information about it and amenities, its locations, checking in. And then you can do booking right on the uh, application. So it'll find you all the rooms. So I want to take the one that saves 40%. How about that? And Enter in your information here, click book, and it's done. Cool. And we'll save we'll save the guest info and the billing info. We won't save the credit card information because that's too sensitive. But right. the next time that you use this application, mm -hmm. most of the information will be entered for you already. Oh, nice. And so, and it'll even... Um, <clears throat> let me just enter some just random digits so that it saves the information. And so if we... If we go back a screen and then forward again, all that information then is very compacted. Oh, nice. So you don't have to, so it's not like in your face, here's right, all this information right. you have to fill out. You don't, all you have to think about every time you, is, is the new credit card number. And even for the credit card number, we have information in there which automatically detects because there's, there's a series of bank identification numbers that all credit cards have. Mm -hmm. So you enter in your credit card, it will detect what credit card, type of credit card that is. So you don't, so need you don't to have to worry say Visa, that. MasterCard yep. every time. Nice. Nicely done.